Hello everyone, I'm Chekotek and today I'm taking a deep dive into the Intel Arc A750, the latest challenger in the budget GPU market. But can this at only 265 British pounds really compete with the RTX 3060 or even the RX 6600 XT? Well, let's find out. Well, it is certainly a contender. The Predator Bifrost A750 OEC that I have here today has an all black modern design with 2 gigahertz clock speed and 8 gigabytes of video memory. Now, this being the OEC version, we're able to boost it up to 2.4 gigahertz with a single slider inside the Predator Sense software. A dual fan cooler with Predator's fifth generation Aeroblades fans alongside the blower style fan will keep this card cool and quiet during intense gaming sessions. And even more, when you realize that this card have a TDP of 250 watts or the liver by the eight plus eight PCI pin connectors allocated on the far side of the card. But if we move to the back for connectivity, we have three DisplayPort 2.0 and one single HDMI 2.0. But this card used a dual PCI slot coming at 4.6 inches or 11 and a half centimeters in height and 11 inches or 29 centimeters in length. So suitable for a big majority of mid ATX or even some, some small form factor builds as well. So let's talk performance, shall we? Because I have thrown this A750 into the deep end at 1080p, 1440p, and even 2160p in some of the most popular AAA games like Cyberpunk 2077, Red Dead Redemption 2, Formula One 2022, Hogwarts Legacy, and of course in some competitive esports game like Apex Legend, Valorant, and even Fortnite. And let me tell you, at 1080p with the highest settings, the average across all this game was around 138 frames with the highest peak, 162 frames. Okay, as expected, this number this decreased when I changed the settings to 1440p, but it was nevertheless playable with 110 to 141 frames average. A quick note here as well, all these game planes have been paired with my Ryzen 7 5700X with bar enable. I have also used a Ryzen 5 1600 in my bench test over here where bar is not supported and the performance difference is around 40 to 42% in some cases. So this is something to keep in mind for your next build if your motherboard and your processor will support bar or not. One of the A750 key features is XESS upscaling technology, and this is Intel's answer to DLSS and AMD Fidelity AFX Super Resolution. I have tested it out, and um, oh, while it doesn't match the image quality of DLSS from NVIDIA, it does deliver significant performance boost with minimal visual degradations, making it a great value also against some of the most competitors model and the AV1 encoders capabilities. I was super impressed with the results. As the encoder produces significant file size and reduction without compromising any visual whatsoever when you compare it to H264. And this feature, it does have the potential to revolutionize content creation workflow myself dealing with all this massive video file. So let's not forget the AV1 encoder in the A750 from Intel. Now in the compare with the normal Intel, the Predator, the cooling system here is doing a decent job keeping all the temperatures in check. In all games that I mentioned before, you have never surpassed 75C. However, the fans can get a little bit noisy at 3,900 revolutions when, of course, you set it at 100% on manual. But in auto, the default fan cab did offer a much quieter experience. 
So overall, is the Intel Arc A750 worth your money? Well, let me tell you that it gives you a great performance for the money. And in many ways, challenge the big competitors. And um, I have to say, I have been super impressed with the results over here. And to the question, is this right for you? Well, depends. Depends on what you're looking for. If you are on a tight budget and prioritize raw performance, it's a compelling option, especially when you consider that competitive price of 265 British pounds. However, and a big however, if you are a brand junkie and value brand recognition, just remember that this is Intel's first generation for Intel's graphics cards in gaming. And when you compare it to the more stable brands like Green Team or even Red Team, the 8750 holds its own and shows a different way to go. So what are your thoughts on that Intel Arc A750? Will you consider buying it for your next build? Well, below the like button in the comment section below, I have left the link purchase one of these i remember 265 british pounds but don't forget that i'm Checo Tech. follow me on my social medias and i will see you on the next adios